Hey there, everybody. It's me, Jason the Cartoon Fan, and boy, has it been a very long time since I last talked about anything on physical media. My unboxing and review of the Ren and Stimpy Show's almost complete series DVD set is long overdue. I know, I know. But I wanted to get a few smaller videos out of the way first before I finally get around to that big beefy upload. First, I want to be talking about a disc replacement program that has been around for quite a while, but not many people seem to be aware of. And that replacement disc program is for one of the many DVD sets featuring cartoons currently owned by Wild Brain that were put out by Mill Creek Entertainment. Heathcliff, the complete series, featuring all 86 episodes of the popular tubby orange feline from the funny pages who is not Garfield's second animated incarnation. Produced by Deke Entertainment of Inspector Gadget fame. The show is a lot of fun and easily one of Deke Entertainment's very best productions. Though that's not saying much when you consider how much garbage Deke produced. However, this particular video isn't about the DVD set itself. It's a pretty run-of-the-mill release. Ha! Huh, see what I did there? For Mill Creek Entertainment. Subpar AV quality and no real extras unless if you count bonus episodes of unrelated shows that are only on here because they're also Wild Brain owned cartoons that Mill Creek Entertainment has the home video rights to. And we also have the issue of the discs being stored inside cardboard sleeves. But hey, this only cost me $5. So you get what you pay for when it comes to Mill Creek. Nothing really special about the DVD set itself, but there is sort of a problem regarding this set that not many people seem to, to be bringing up. I certainly haven't found any YouTube videos about it, so I want to talk about it right now. So, you know, I guess I'll be the first to do so. Okay, so before I continue, I want to show you each of the discs that are included in this set. Um, let's see here. So each of the discs have pretty much the same artwork with the only differences being the disc and season numbers and the actual episodes that are listed on the discs themselves. That's probably the only cool thing about Mill Creek Entertainment's DVD releases. I wish that more physical media releases of TV shows had something like this, where the episodes included on each specific disc are listed on the discs themselves. So yeah, here is disc one, which features the first 10 episodes of season one. Disc two, which features the following 11 episodes of season one. Disc 3, which features the next 11 episodes of Season 1. Disc 4, which features more episodes from Season 1. Season 1 was a really long season, 65 episodes to be exact. Disc 5, featuring even more Season 1 episodes. And... Finally, Disc 6, which features the final 11 episodes of Season 1. So that's it for Season 1. Now we're moving on to Disc 
not disc, season two, with the final three discs in this set. Disc seven, featuring the first seven, seven episodes of season two. Disc eight, featuring the next episode, the next seven episodes of season two. And finally, disc nine, featuring the final seven episodes of, se of season two and the series as a whole. Why did I show you all of these different discs? Well, it's because a particular disc in this set suffers from a glitch that can only be fixed by letting Mill Creek know that the disc is defected. Disc 3 of this set has a glitch where the Cadillac Cats segment of episode 24, Young Cat with a Horn, is just flat out missing a scene. And that scene isn't a tiny snippet either. It's a whooping two minutes out of 11. Here is the portion of the episode where the glitch occurs. will make the fish swim this way. Ta-da! Okay, little fishies, come to Hector. Here, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Here, fishy, fishy. Oh, no! No, I did not re-edit the footage you just saw. There are literally two minutes of crucial plot information that have been cut out of the episode. This set came out in 2016. Or 2106 according to the fine print. 
but yeah, 2016 is when this came out. But Mill Creek still hasn't resolved this issue for newer copies of the set, which is weird, right? But what makes this even weirder is the fact that this, this exact disc is actually a reprint of an earlier season disc. This is a direct copy, but with a different label. And that version came out in 2012, which means that for 10 years, this disc has been suffering from a glitch when you buy it brand new. And Mill Creek still hasn't fixed the issue for when you buy the copy brand new. Like when you buy a copy of this set or the individual season one volume one release, which is the, the release that includes the original copies of this disc brand new. Like, I know Heathcliff loves to play pranks on everyone and can't be undone while doing so, but come on, this isn't funny, guys. Because Mill Creek still hasn't resolved this issue, 10 years after the disc was first pressed, the only way you can resolve this problem is by letting Mill Creek know via email that you want a replacement copy. Just let them know the issue and give them your address so they can send you a new copy of the disc with the glitch fixed. And so, that's exactly what I did. Here it is. Well, not the disc itself, but rather the, the packaging that it was put in when, when it was put in when it got sent to my mailbox. And voila, the new improved replacement disc. I actually purchased this used at a secondhand store. So I was hoping that the copy that I got had already been fixed by the person who purchased this set before me. But, alas, no dice. For good measure, I've decided to play the same clip that you saw earlier a third time in order to prove that the issue has indeed been resolved for this replacement disc.
giver of fishing. So, yeah. If you're a fan of this particular incarnation of Heathcliff, you'll definitely want to buy this set. Just make sure to hold on to the Shout Factory DVD release of Heathcliff if you own it for its special features that sadly did not get ported over to this complete series release. And make sure to email Mill Creek Entertainment using the address I provided below to let them know that you want a replacement disc. And this concludes my uh, public service announcement, I guess. So yeah, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to share it with your friends in case they have a copy of Heathcliff the Complete Series. I hope you guys, gals, and non-binary pals all enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different than most of my other cartoon merchandise videos, but it's about a topic that I've been wanting to cover ever since I got a copy of this set. Because, again, not many people even know about this issue, let alone that it's been going on for pretty much a decade. So I hope this video can be used as a form of awareness for people who are considering on buying the set. Until next time, this is Jason the Cartoon Fan signing off.